Welcome to another edition of AVSI's Weekend Roundup, where we point out some stories that you might have missed. Uh, Brian, why don't you start us off? Okay, so researchers from the University of Zurich have developed a UAS that is capable of autonomously dodging objects that are thrown at it. That does not mean that you should throw objects at UAS, of course, but um, just an added benefit. Um, the UAS is equipped with an advanced sensor known as an event camera, which only sends data when the pixels and its field of vision change in intensity. So as a result, the event camera uses less data and has lower latency, resulting in a quicker response time, which allows the UAS to dodge objects if they are indeed thrown at it. I would like to play ping pong with that drone because I would <laughs> win. Um, a researcher at Embry-Riddle, a professor, has developed a new technology that could disrupt rogue drones, so if someone's flying where they should not be flying, uh, he could tell them to stand down, and if they don't, the system could actually take over the drone and activate its auto land feature so it would get out of the way. Okay. A driverless electric truck has begun daily freight deliveries on a public road in Sweden. The truck is a product of Swedish startup Enride, and the teapot truck, as is known, has permission to make short trips between a warehouse and a terminal on a public road in a central area of Sweden, um, and it goes up to five kilometers per hour. Okay. Uh, sea Machines has automated some ships uh, to use for search and rescue in the maritime environment, so that should help with that urgent need. And some more testing of trucks. Uh, this week a self-driving tractor trailer was tested at the Tampa Highway. The project was led by Starsky Robotics, which is of course delivering, developing different driverless vehicles. And their hope is to have driverless trucks on the highways along with remote controlled options for the first and last mile of trips. By the way, Starsky Robotics is part of a story that we have in the upcoming June issue of Unmanned Systems Magazine about automated trucks, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. Just a couple more things for me. Uh, the Air Force wants an unmanned rescue air vehicle, so instead of sending troops into harm's way uh, to help rescue fellow soldiers, they could fly this system in. That could help do it autonomously. And last but not least, the Army has been training with these tiny helicopters developed by FLIR, uh, which is actually Prox Dynamics is a company that FLIR bought. They make these very small helicopters and Army is training with them and no doubt we'll be using them before too long. So that's what we have for you this week and we will see you next week.